Hey there, Dave. Uh, so I saw your latest forum post regarding your Disney merchandise that you purchased recently. I gotta say, in my 32 years of living, I never thought I'd see the day where I would actually see those candles in my life. For the longest time, I thought it was, I thought it was just a myth. Did you know that you already have people online sharing your story? Uh, sorry, I, I digress. Sorry, perhaps I'm just getting a little ahead of myself. I'm real excited to share some background on what you have. Oh, and feel free to repost this or share it anywhere you like. The more people who know about something this interesting, the better. So, in a nutshell, what you have there is a set of 1939 paraffin candles, manufactured directly from Walt Disney. I know it was probably obvious to you already, uh, considering the logo, but these candles were more than met the eye. Thanks to your cat, you've probably already noticed its most striking feature, the small channel that extends throughout the candle's interior, creating a makeshift container, as you described it. And what its purpose was served just that to transmit messages to and from destinations without being traceable or recognizable to the general public, specifically to 1930s Germany and Axis sympathizers. I'm a, sure you've heard about Walt Disney's controversial past, right? See, during that time period, as a show of good faith, he, alongside other employees that he confided within at the time, presented these candles to the German-American Bund. And while only rumored, they in turn would send these candles overseas with other stowed wartime supplies and cargo. With communications being limited, and with the United States cracking down on Nazi sympathizers here at the time, it's no surprise the lengths he'd go in order to send information their way. Whatever it could have been. Now, regarding your last message that was sent to you explicitly by Disney, however, uh, well, unfortunately, that's something even I don't know how to interpret. I'm no lawyer, let alone someone who can even understand half of what's being said here, but if I could just throw in my two cents, it sounds a bit corporate to me for you to have to barricade your house just yet. Maybe they're calling your bluff. You know, I highly doubt everyone they have on staff has a clue as to what you have considering the lengths you went to still come up empty-handed. If they do, however, it would make sense. Nobody I know would want to be labeled as an enemy of the country, even if it had been documented. Anyway, uh, hope this helps, Dave. I suppose I should send my condolences to you as well for your ban, uh, though given your location, I guess it wasn't too likely you'd end up visiting the parks. Anyways... Right? <laughs> uh, sorry. Bad joke. Take care of yourself. Regards. Edgar.